With this drawing we're going to complete a first angle orthographic and we're going to do a front view, a top view and we're going to complete a left view. So to start off with our front view we're going to place over here. We're going to check first we have a length of 60 millimeters and we have a, we've got to check our total height. There's a height of 35 over there and 10 so the total height isn't very high it's only about 45 millimeters high. So we are going to go and place it on our page. I'm going to go about 80 millimeters down. Should give us more than enough space for it. Okay, and I'm going to start off with a construction line for the base. And that baseline for my front view, since I'm going to see all of this over here, I can draw that as a dark line. That's a 60 millimeter dark line. So I'm going to go and draw out that 60 millimeter dark line for the base and then I'm going to go and draw this line going up 10 millimeters up but I'm going to start that of course with a construction line I'm going to do another construction line on this side over here for that 15 mm line which we're going to draw in and then I'm going to go and measure my my 10 millimeter line draw that in and then do the same thing for my 15 millimeter line draw that in okay so i've got those two front lines drawn in already and then this gap over here you can see here it says it's 15 millimeters coming in so i'm going to do another construction line there so i'm going to have a line coming in here and then there's going to be a line coming in there as well which they've shown me over here is going to be 10 millimeters so I can do both of those so I can draw in my 10 more line here and the 15 one here okay then they show me here that I'm going up and I'm going up a height of 35 millimeters okay and then this is going 15 millimeters up so I'm going to draw another two construction lines one for the 35 and one for where the 15 will go. And I'm going to put in my 35 mil line. And then I'm going to do my 15 mil line. Okay. Now if we've got those two lines, we're going to go in here another 20 millimeters according to that. 20 millimeters in here. And then this height over here will be whatever's left to get to the top to meet up with this line here, which they've said is also 15 millimeters. So I'm going to take a construction line across over here for my 20 millimeter line. And I'm going to draw my 20 more in. Okay, and then I know that I can just use projection for the rest because then I can just project that across and then I know that if I simply project this up that that's got to meet up with that top line and then I can simply join that there and if I've been accurate with all my measurements then that one should be 15 millimeters long and a little bit off so we need to watch our accuracy okay be careful make sure that you stay accurate with all of your measurements okay so now we've got all of our lines in to get our front view over there now we're done with that front view we're now going to go and have a look at our top view i'm not going to do any of the hidden detail in here yet because we're going to use our top view to help us out with our hidden detail for our front view so i'm going to start off by Putting in a 10 millimeter gap on each side of my drawing for my XY lines. Okay, I've got one there. And then my vertical one. And then I know that I'm going to be drawing a left view as well. So I'm going to add in my 45 degree line so long that I know that I'm going to use later. Okay, and now I can project 
from my front view down into my top view. So I'm going to take each of the sides that I've got and I'm going to project those down. Okay, now for my top view, I can see over here on my drawing that for my top view, I'm going to see this shape over here. I'm also going to see the inside part of that hole. I'm also going to see this little small U-shape there. And then of course I'm going to see each of these flat surfaces, that one there and that one there. So that's everything that's got to be seen in my top view. Now, first of all, my top view's width, I can see here, is 35 millimeters. That line there is going to be 35 millimeters long. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to measure that out first. I'm going to start with my 10 millimeter gap, make sure that's in there. And then I'm going to measure off my 35 millimeters for the width of that view. And I'm going to put in two construction lines. Well, actually, I don't need to put in two construction lines. And I can put in two dark lines because from the top view, that whole length, all of that line, that line, all those line up, and that's going to be a dark line, and both on the back and the front. So I can draw, comfortably go and draw in that line dark, as well as the one 35 millimeters away. And then I also can clearly see I'm going to have a dark line on both ends, so I can go and draw those in as well. Okay, then you can clearly see here that each of these lines we've projected down now give us places that we're going to put in dark lines, but we've got to be careful and we've got to keep track of our top view. We can see we will have a dark line right across there, despite the fact there's a hole here. When we look from the top, that will be seen in line with those two small lines there. There'll be a dark line across there and one there. We don't have to measure any of those because we've got them all projected down from our front view. All we need to do is go and draw them in. There's going to be a line in over there, there'll be another line in over here, and then of course another one here. Now, that's all great, but in our top view we know we need to see this U-shape over here, and we haven't got that U-shape in yet. We can clearly see that that's going to be fitted into over here, okay, that little space there. And for that little U-shape, we're going to draw that U-shape into our top view, okay, so we're going to have to go and measure five millimeters down for the width of that U-shape. So we're going to measure five millimeters in there and we're going to make a mark and five millimeters up on the other side over there. We're going to draw in two construction lines for those. And then according to our measurements, that's got to be 10 millimeters in. So we're going to go and measure our 10 millimeters in. We're going to mark that off. And now we can draw in a dark line Okay, which then gives us the back of that U-shape. And then of course we can draw in our other two dark lines for the two sides. One over there, and one there. Okay, now we have a complete top view. Okay, but now our top view has been drawn, but there's part of our top view missing in our front view. And the reason why it's missing in our front view is because it's going to be hidden detail. So if we project those up, you can clearly see that line over there won't be used for any dark any dark lines in that front view because the only dark things we can see is that part of that shape there. But this hole over here we need to include. Okay, So we're going to have to go and draw that in using hidden detail lines. But it's only 25 millimeters deep. You can see that measurement there. It's only 25 millimeters deep. It doesn't go all the way down. So we have to go and measure from the top in our front view 25 millimeters down. Going to make a mark there, and then we're going to do a hidden detail line inwards till it hits that projection line that we projected up there, because that's how deep the hole goes into our shape over there. And then we're going to go and finish off the hidden detail line that we're going to see there for the back of the hole. Okay, there we go. Our hidden details then complete in our front view. Now we need to go to our left view, and for that we're going to project everything. So we, for our left view, I'm just going to take this out for now. For our left view, 
we're going to go and project every single one of the lines from our top view onto our 45 degree line and then we're going to project them up where they intersect our 45 degree we project them up into our left view all construction lines and then we project each of our lines from our front view across straight into our left view make sure that you get all of them okay now there are quite a few lines there so we're going to have to make sure we keep track of what's going on first of all if we go back to our drawing here we can see that for our left view looking from that direction for our left view we're clearly going to see a block over there we're also going to see this block here and the inside of the hole but we can also clearly see that that left view is going to be a rectangle on the outside all dark lines so for the start of this left view we can go and use the projection lines that we've got and then draw in dark lines at the top at the bottom and of course then on the sides and then we can use our projection lines to go and draw in the hole that we're going to see that hole over there okay we're going to see that over here so there's the base of the hole there and then the two sides of the hole come across and up so if we follow the base of that hole across we can clearly see we'd have a bottom line for that hole there and then the two sides of that hole would go over there and over there and then we've still got we've still got to see that baseline over there okay so we're going to project that across that'll be a dark line right there Okay, so that's now given us a complete, a complete left view, but there is something still missing here. Okay, because that's a complete left view with all the dark detail. There's some hidden detail missing, and we know that because we have two lines here, that one there and that one there, that have been projected across, but they haven't been used for anything. Okay, so they're going, they are for hidden detail. Okay, that point over there, which represents this back line over here, okay, that back line over there, is hidden detail we can't see it from the left view it's going to be hidden the same as that back line over here and both of those lines are represented by these two lines we projected across which we haven't used for anything yet so this one is going to create a hidden detail line at the back over here and this one will create a hidden detail line all the way across over here now we have a complete left view with our hidden detailing.